Dearly beloved, loving greetings in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. Don't you see a bridge behind me? You are seeing one part of the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. Clouds have beautifully settled on its top. Clouds have covered the important part of this particular bridge. There is always a cool and pleasant weather over here. And particularly this part of this region looks very beautifully indeed. Okay, are you wondering what word does the Lord give me today? In Proverbs chapter 10 and verse 6, Blessings are on the head of the righteous. Blessings should remain in your life. That is very important. See here, the clouds have settled over there. It won't always be there and sometimes the clouds will move away. It will stay there temporarily. But the Lord's blessings are on the head of the righteous. It will remain permanently. Who is righteous? If you are righteous, the Lord promises that the Lord's blessings will remain in your life permanently. That is the Lord's desire. The Lord God wants to keep you blessed always. But you should be righteous. Your words and actions should be righteous. Blessings will not remain in the lives of those who speak unrighteous words and engage in unrighteous actions. It will seem like the blessings are coming, but it will leave immediately. Consider the politicians because they earned dishonestly and unjustly those blessings didn't remain. There is shame and reproach. Don't we see them going to the court often? But in the lives of those who walk righteously and honestly, blessings will remain always. Who are those righteous people? Righteous people are those children of God who have been saved by the blood of Jesus. If you have the experience of being washed by His blood, you will have the experience of the righteous. But we are dead to sins and alive for righteousness. Jesus Christ shed His blood on the cross of Calvary to make us who were sinners righteous. Just say, Lord, I am a sinner. Make me righteous. Give me the heart to walk in righteousness and honesty always. Then you will see the blessings will always remain in your life. Are you struggling because blessings come and go but aren't permanent? Examine your heart and commit to living as a righteous person. You will see that the blessings remain in your life forever. Dear Lord, you shed your blood on the cross to save me, a sinner. Wash me with your blood and bless me to become a righteous person. Make blessings remain permanently in our lives. In the name of Lord Jesus, we pray, Father. Amen. Amen.